Hi everybody, my name is Miss Arroyo. I'm a K2 teacher and I wanted to share a very special book with you. It's called Lily Brown's Paintings. I like this book a lot because it's about painting and I like to paint at home. The book is written by Angela Johnson and the drawings are by E.B. Lewis. Lily Brown's Paintings. I like that name. That's the nickname I gave my daughter. Do you have a nickname? Lily Brown loves her mama, daddy, and baby brother and the world that they live in. Sometimes she spins around her room thinking about their world and it's wondrous. But when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. The sunlight turns to stars and Lily begins flying around them. All the universe is one big colorful splash. The stars circle the planets in Lily Brown's paintings. Looks like she's using her imagination to pretend like she's inside one of her paintings. Do you ever use your imagination? Do you pretend that you're somewhere that you're not? Sometimes they come down to earth to hang around sidewalks, cafes, and shine when the sun goes down. When Lily Brown paints, the trees that she walks past on her way to school wear hats and drink tea on cool days with other trees and shrubbery. They know Lily and bow to her. When I was little and I would go in the car with my family, drive to different places, I would pretend like the trees were following us, like they were jogging right alongside our car and they were my friends. Do you ever make believe when you're driving around or when you're on the bus? Hmm. If you haven't yet, maybe you should try. When Lily Brown paints fruit at the corner market, it's striped and polka dotted. It speaks to people, then laughs out loud. When people put the fruit in bags to take home, the apples sing all the way there. Can you find the singing apples? Do you see a pear? What about the funny faces on the bananas? What else can you see in this picture? Lily Brown's paintings the path to the park becomes a wild animal living room with antelopes lounging and alligators on the phone. Lily always remembers to draw them a treat. Well, that's nice of her. Can you see the treats? I see a cup of juice. Can you find an animal that's on the phone? Do you see the animal that's reading a book just like we are? In Lily Brown's paintings, softly blowing rose-colored winds bring voices from across the ocean to tell stories that she's never heard before. Sometimes when I'm in the car with my girls, I like to tell stories with them. Sometimes I'll let them finish them or add to it while we're telling it. Sometimes they're stories about things that actually happen, but sometimes we're just using our imagination, kind of like Lily is. Then she listens and paints with blues and oranges to let the wind know she's heard them. Lily's observing. She's using her ears to listen and her eyes to notice all the different colors. Maybe you can observe something and make a picture of that while you're at home. Sometimes Lily herself walks around in her paintings or sails away through fields of red corn and purple painted skyscrapers. Do you think Lily's really inside of her paintings? How is she doing it? I think she's using her imagination again. She's got a great imagination. She must use it a lot. In Lily Brown's paintings, the color of people, places, and things change with her heart. 
People walk upside down, and the buildings on the streets dance with airplanes flying above. And it's another world. Can you come up with your own town? Somewhere you would like to live? Maybe it's the town you already live in. Or maybe it could be a pretend town with special buildings and houses. Maybe the houses have happy faces. Who knows? Lily paints all that she sees and feels her own way. She puts her world of color and light on anything she can find. It's magical. It really is magical, isn't it? Look at all the colors that she's using in this picture. Can you see something that's red? Can you find something that's blue? How about yellow? Can you find something green? So many colors. But at the end of the day, when Lily Brown is about to put her paints away, she remembers her mama's smile, her daddy's eyes, and the way her baby brother holds her hand before he goes to sleep. What a beautiful family portrait. What does your family look like? Can you draw a picture of your family? And their world again and it's wondrous that's lily's world can you see the drawing of the actual earth that she made underneath isn't it beautiful i like this book a lot because i like to paint and sometimes at night we'll do a household paint night where everybody in my house pulls out their paint brushes and some paint and draws or paints something that they think about, that they imagine, or something that they saw and they're observing. The other night, I got to do a paint night with my daughters and my daughter Lily, the one that's named just like the girl in the book, drew this painting. It was something that she saw and she liked it. This was a fun project. She put some paint down, and with a straw, she pushed the paint around the whole um, palette. Can you come up with a great painting to do at home? Something simple, maybe some rainbows. Maybe you can draw your house. Make, an, make a house that you come up with in your imagination. Maybe you can draw yourself. Make a nice self-portrait by looking in a mirror and getting all the details. I don't know, maybe you can just use your imagination. Thanks for watching.